Okay, so I'm a bit tall for this setup, but I literally can't make my camera go any higher. So hello. Welcome to another Lactose Lecture. We're in a new kitchen in my new apartment. So yes, one of the main criteria for moving into the space was to get an aesthetic kitchen backdrop because I knew I was gonna be filming more of these lactose lectures. Anyways, today's lactose lecture, I'm going to teach you how you can pretend that you're actually not an awkward person, AKA how to cure your social anxiety. My guess is that if you're an INTJ type personality or simply an introverted type of personality, that you've probably gone through this and your social anxiety may have even gotten worse because of this whole stay at home situation or you're just so used to not talking to people that when you go outside, you're scared to talk to people. So yeah, there are a lot of reasons in today's age why we are just so awkward. And I think I have it figured out and these are the tips and tricks I use to create this facade that, you know, I'm fine, everything's fine. I mean, I do have a YouTube channel and it actually has helped me to talk to a camera alone in my apartment. And even then I can still be awkward and I don't like to make eye contact with you, so. This is all about self-improvement and working towards the goal of being less awkward. But anyways, let's get some mac and cheese so that I can begin this lecture. Yeah, it's not very interesting today in terms of what we're making, but apparently craft dinner is now cheesier. So yes, we will be testing this out today and seeing if it is in fact cheesier than the original, original versions. Um, I hope so. I think we're gonna add some salt to the water to make this a more gourmet dish. Not that Kraft Dinner isn't already gourmet, especially the more cheesy original, original version. All right, that should be boiling. Um, I feel like I have to squat a bit to be in frame. Not only am I cooking mac and cheese while making a YouTube video, I am squatting and doing a workout at the same time. So before filming this video, I actually took a quiz um, to test what is my level of social awkwardness. Um, I think it was a Buzzfeed one, so you know, definitely scientific material. I got eight out of 10, so it could always be worse. So if you're in a similar position and you've also taken the scientific evaluation and gotten a similar result, remember, correlation is not causation. There are actually a lot of pros to being socially awkward. You tend to excel at other things. Your energy is not being used necessarily to be the best at socializing, but you conserve that energy for a lot of other things. You tend to have really big ideas and big goals and big achievements because you know that you're not gonna be super extroverted and hanging out with a bunch of people all the time and you're gonna be spending a lot of time with yourself. So you just keep developing better and better ideas and kind of drive yourself crazy. I like to think that maybe I don't really enjoy talking to a whole group of people, but I enjoy being with myself. And at the end of the day, you're gonna only have yourself. So I think it's not the worst position to be in. Time for some ASMR over here. Kidding. I don't want to annoy people too much on here. I feel like I've acquired quite a number of skills in my life, but opening a box nicely is not one of them. And you would think after opening multiple, countless mac and cheese boxes in my life, I would have nailed this technique by now, but yeah, we still are opening like an imbecile. So while we're waiting a bit longer, what are my techniques for pretending and giving off this facade that I'm actually not that socially awkward. Lesson number one is that if you are out in public alone and you don't want anyone to look at you, approach you, ask you directions, because we all know they're not asking for directions, but they just want to talk, 
Talk to someone on the phone, as in have a fake conversation. I feel like I do this all the time and maybe I'm super weird for saying this, but I actually like to speak on the phone in different languages, like have a fake conversation because A, I'm practicing my language skills and I don't get to speak all these languages all the time. So it's a great way for me to practice speaking. And B, it makes me sound like I'm this foreigner who just landed in Canada. So yeah, be alluring, but don't let anyone approach you. I honestly feel like there needs to be a mac and cheese brand that makes more like millennial friendly packaging or Gen Z because this still makes me feel like a child when I'm eating these. And I swear there's no other mac and cheese brand that makes you feel like it's okay as an adult to be eating this stuff. My second lesson for how to pretend to not be awkward is to never actually refer to someone by their name because I actually feel so uncomfortable with adults, with family members even. I'm like, I don't wanna call you by your first name. I don't wanna call you like Mr, Mrs, whatever. I don't even wanna call you like aunt or uncle because that feels awkward. So whenever I talk to anybody, even a close friend, I just don't really like saying people's names because I don't know, it just feels so, I don't know how to explain it, but it just feels so scary to me, which sounds ridiculous that I'm saying that, but what you do is you stare at someone super intensely to get their attention and only then you start talking. And in that way, you'll never have an awkward situation where you mispronounce, get the whole name wrong, forget someone's name. This is also helpful in big social situations because you're never awkwardly interrupting a conversation or starting one. It's more like you wait for the other person to realize that you're giving them the death stare and in return, they will talk to you. It's honestly my whole issue with using names has gotten so bad that even my own aunt told my dad, her brother, like, is Lydia okay? Like she doesn't seem to call me anything. And I was like, damn it, she caught on. I like to think also that being socially awkward, awkward in general is a good thing because I tend to look at the most successful people out there, the billionaires, the Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos. And to me, they also seem quite socially awkward. So yeah, we should not think of it as something that limits us but rather a sign that we are destined to be successful. I think one of the worst trials and tribulations you can go through when you are a socially awkward person is condolences and being there for somebody at their worst time. Like, oh my God, like I literally just get so awkward when it comes to being around someone who's super sad, like not a significant other, but a friend, family member, because I'm just like, I don't know what to do with you. Like I see things too logically and too rationally that I just end up saying the worst condolences. Like someone could be like, hey, my horse died. And I'd be like, well, at least it wasn't horse meat for a dog at the end of the day. So my advice when it comes to condolences and being there for people is to just provide food, give somebody mac and cheese. And if they're lactose intolerant, I can't help you. The key to making friends is to provide them all with food. In fact, I do this all the time. I love having people over while I cook because I can always just come in and out of the conversation because I'm like, oh, gotta take something out of the oven. Like, oh, gotta wash the dishes. At the same time, we're gonna get our other very important ingredients. Butter, full fat. Sour cream, full fat. Low fat dairy products is just full of sugar and chemicals. Maybe I should write an email to Kraft to be like on your box, instead of say add milk, add full fat sour cream. I'm gonna mix this in front of the camera for the smoke machine effect. So anyways, fun fact, when I just started my Facebook account, I was like 13, 14 maybe, I put my occupation as the CEO of Kraft Incorporated. I think I only removed that when I was 20. So kind of embarrassing, but honestly, iconic moment in my career. I feel like I should add that to my LinkedIn. Okay, butter is fully melted, sour cream. Ugh, I feel like it's just a Slavic thing to like love sour cream on everything. And the moment of truth, is this packet of chemicals more cheesy or less cheesy than the original? 
Okay, from first glance, the orange color is exactly the same. In fact, it looks a little bit more natural. Hmm, I don't know if I'm happy about that or disappointed. Anyways, I guess my final piece of advice is you shouldn't be too worried to appear awkward to people because you have to realize that I feel like every single person has this innate fear in them to varying degrees, of course, but you can't just assume that you're the only one who's experiencing this because so many people have social anxiety. So many people are just so concerned with how others perceive them and how others judge their social interaction, social skills. And that's exactly why you have tiers of popularity throughout high school, or whatever, because it's all based on this factor of how cool you are perceived by others. And so something that has really helped me is going into any social situation, especially if I don't know anyone, basically, is to assume that everybody else is also shy and that everybody else is also awkward. And that is something that has really helped me because when you walk into a room knowing that everybody is going through the same thing that you're experiencing, or at least you come up with this situation in your head, you are automatically gonna become more confident because you're like, wow, like we actually already have something in common and that is that we're all awkward as fuck. So yeah, I hope today's lecture was helpful, comprehensible, and that you've taken very good notes because there will be an exam in the next lactose lecture. Just kidding, the only exam I would ever give to anyone is how well they can cook me a box of mac and cheese. And in fact, that is something I have done with previous relationships. Okay, I need to stop and just enjoy this. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video.